DVOM stands for Digital Volt Ohmmeter. So let's let's get into some of the basics of it. If you look at the front of it, okay, you see you have a dial there, okay. Notice that there are various settings on that dial. The first one you come across, it's got a squiggly line and a V next to it. it stands for AC volts because that is a sine wave. That means the voltage goes both positive and negative, and you've got to use that if you're measuring alternating current, okay? The next one up where it says RPM with a V and a solid line and a dash under it. What do you suppose that is? DC, direct current, okay? So that's the one that you would use if you were checking, say, the, the battery on a car, all right? And you wanted to check out what the battery voltage is, you would use that setting right there. Next one up, it says little m and a big V. That stands for millivolts. It's the same thing as the one below it, but it's for very small amounts of, of voltage. And the one we're going to use today is straight up and down there, and it's got the little horseshoe emblem. And so you know what that stands for? Ohms. Ohms, right. Ohms is a resistance, resistance measurement. And this thing is very accurate for measuring resistance. And what I'm going to have you do is measure the resistance on, on these injectors that are in front of you. Okay? First things first, though, you want to take your red lead right here, and you're going to plug it into the far right red port that's marked volts, ohms, and RPM. So go ahead and just plug that right in there. Now take the black lead and plug that in right next to it where it says COM, C-O-M. That stands for common. That's your ground connection if you're using it for volts. Now, you all got your alligator clips hooked up to your leads. You've got your injector in front of you. Go ahead and turn your dial to where it points to ohms. Okay. Now, what is the meter saying when you get there? OL. That stands for it's out of limits. And if it's not hooked up to anything that has some resistance in it, it's an open circuit. So there's, there's infinite resistance between these two leads right now. Now go ahead and touch your alligator clips together, the metallic part of them, and see what the meter reads then. It goes to zeros, doesn't it? Okay, what that means is there's no resistance in that complete circuit. Now I want you to take either one of the leads and clip it onto one of the wires here on the injector. And of course, then the other lead, clip it on to the other side. Okay, what kind of a reading did you get over there? 14.6 ohms. What you got? 14.9, and you? 16.4. 14.4. So you notice the resistance values vary a little bit. This is an important test because on a vehicle that has fuel injection, sometimes we may wind up with a bad injector electrically. And a real quick, easy test is unplug the injector, and you can probe the, the connections to the injector just like you're doing now and see if they all match each other within a certain amount. If you got one that's a little bit low or a little bit higher than the others, you probably found the problem. Okay, another feature of this meter is if you look right next to where your comm is plugged, you'll see another port there. It's marked small m and large a. That allows you to measure very, very small amounts of current. Okay, and follow to the left of that is a large a. So what do you think that is? Larger amounts of current, up to a point. The maximum current we can measure on this meter is 10 amps. Okay, so it's not designed to measure huge amounts of current like what a battery would put out on a starter circuit, for instance. There's another very important thing to remember when you're using one of these meters. If you're using it to measure ohms, never ever hook it up to a circuit that is hooked up to a battery. That if you hook that up to battery voltage, by mistake, it will blow that fuse because the meter protects itself and it won't work anymore. So you never want to connect up the, the ohm meter mode to a live circuit. 